Hi, it's David here from TheUnlocker.com. Uh, today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM radio or theme onto your T-Mobile G1. Um, you must have a rooted G1 to begin this process. If you don't, or you don't know what I'm talking about, please visit our website, TheUnlocker.com minus the E, spelled here, um, and click on Categories, then Android How-To's, and you'll see a video on how to root your G1. You need to do that first before you go on to this video. Okay, so once you've done that, you can go to our site again, go to select a category, Android How To's, and you'll see how to load a custom ROM, radio, or theme. And then you need to scroll down, and you'll see the detailed instructions all right here. This video is just to complement the instructions, so please follow the instructions that are written here. Um, the video, we're just going to show you how to install a theme, because the process pretty much is the same for a ROM and a radio. Um, so we just wanted to give you kind of a little quick visual on what you're doing, but for the most part, just read this step by step. It's actually not too difficult. Um, so but to get started, we'll show you how to do a theme at the very bottom here. You can click here to get to XDA Developers Theme section for the G1. Okay, and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different themes here, and this is really personal preference for the most part. Um, which one you like, which one you think will look cool, whatever. Um, but please make sure that you know what ROM you downloaded, because most themes are dependent on which ROM. Like, some are good for Jesus Freak, some are good for the Dudes ROM. Um, a few of them are multi-ROM support, other ones aren't. So, be sure you know which, one, which ROM you have before you start downloading themes. Um, we have the Dude ROM on our phone today. So we're going to just do this one here. We like the hero theme. Um, this actually says multi-ROM support, so it probably work for, for the JF ROM as well. It was kind of cool. All right, now why not? So with all of these link, or excuse me, with all of these uh, theme posts, you're going to find a link within them um, that has the .zip file that you need to, to change your theme or update your ROM or change your radio. It all works the same. Um, so you're going to click on one of these links here. Here's the newest version, 1.2. Either one of these links will work um, and follow the instructions to download it. We've already downloaded it though, so we're just going to open it up. And here it is. Okay. Next step you're going to do is you're going to plug in your G1 into the USB. Once you do that, you're going to get a notification. Pull that down. Click mount. Now, the G1 SD card is going to pop up on the screen eventually. Give it a second. And there it is. Click open folder to view files. Let's pull it over here. Okay. So now, we're going to copy this file, the one that we just downloaded, from our computer over to our SD card. Make sure that whether it's a ROM, a radio, or a theme, you're copying it to the top folder of your SD card. Um, next, gonna delete this. Okay. Then we're going to rename it. You have to do this with whether it's a ROM, a radio, or a theme as well. So right click, rename, and we're going to call it update. And enter. Okay, now it's renamed. We can close everything out. And unplug our G1. So I guess now that it's unplugged. Okay, now once you've done that, you're going to hold down the power button to turn off the phone. And we're going to turn back on the phone by holding down the end key and the home key at the same time. And just keep holding them. Okay.
Now you may not see this menu come up depending on what ROM you loaded, but most of us will. Um, so now you're going to see Alt S will apply the update.zip. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit Alt S to apply the update. Now when you're loading a ROM, this will take a little bit longer. Um, for a theme, it shouldn't take too long. Or for a radio as well, it won't take that long. Okay, now that's done, it's going to tell you to hold, hold the uh, home and back button to reboot. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to hold the back button and then let go. And the phone will reboot. Once it's done, you should have your theme on the screen and uh, be good to go. Or your new ROM or radio for that matter.